South Sudan's Apex Bank says the new cash injection will boost the country's foreign exchange reserves. The bank says the money from the International Monetary Fund will also offset the economic shocks caused by COVID-19 pandemic. South Sudan's economy is reeling from the effects of years of conflict. The utilization of the new resources will be addressed to uh, support the budget and the economic impact of uh, COVID-19 uh, pandemic. Also, it will support the balance of payment and the reserve building. Civil servants have gone for months without salaries. Prices of basic goods remain unpredictable. Things are not yet stable. Today the price is fair, tomorrow the price is very high. I cannot say that the market is stable now, but we are just surviving day by day. Some Juba residents say they are hopeful that the money from the International Monetary Fund will help South Sudan's economy. A lot of, a lot of government officials, a lot of staffs, they have, they, have, they have not been paid for a long time. So this money can also be done to fix the, the salary areas. And uh, fourthly, of course, the, 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 the sittings, the, the, the parliament will be open. Maybe it can also be helped in the budgeting issues. South Sudan Central Bank says its efforts are supported by the significant recovery of oil prices and IMF's support. South Sudan depends on oil revenue to fund 98% of its fiscal expenditure. A fall in global oil prices has negatively affected the economy. The country's central bank says despite the money from the IMF, stabilizing the economy will still take some time. Patrick Koyet, SABC, Juba, South Sudan.